Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in Hacker Time. So today is the day 29 and it is the last video of this series. If you like my Hacker Time 30 days of code series, then please press the like button and please support me by press the subscribe button. And if you want to get notification of this type of video, then please press the bell icon. So let's go to the problem. So today we solve the problem about B2I's end and it is a simple problem and we end the hacker rank 30 days of code series by solving this simple easy problem. At first we simply read the task section given a set S and S contain 1 to N find two integers A and B where A less than B from set S such that value of a and b is the maximum possible and also less than a given integer k in this case and represent the bitwise and operator so if you don't know about the bitwise and operator then you simply click this tutorial tab if you want to learn more about bitwise and then go to the wikipedia page so I simply go to this tutorial tab and here the bitwise and so the formula of the bitwise and is when the input is 1 and 1 then the output is 1 and if the input is 1 and 0 output is 0 and input is 0 1 then output is 0 and input is 0 0 then output is 0 so by applying this formula you can simply determine the bitwise and of two number so i simply show you how to determine the bit wise and of two number like here the example present if the two number is 12 and 25 we simply write the binary representation of 12 so this is the 8 bit binary representation of 12 and this is the 8 bit binary representation of 25 so then you apply the bit wise and formula for each and individual bit so like we simply apply this 0 and 1 so 0 and 1 the output is 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 so 0 1 0 and then all 0 so you can see that the output is 8 in decimal so this is the output of the AND operation between 12 and 25 so I think you understand but if you have any doubt about this then please go to the comment section and comment me I definitely try to solve your doubt so now I come in this problem so now the input format the first line contain a integer t the number of test cases and then each of the t subsequent line define a test case as two space separated integers one is n another is k so you can see the value of this n that means the 1 up to n is present in this set and k that means the value of a and b is less than of the k so that means you simply understand the use of n and k so I simply go to the sample input and I think you understand problem statement through this sample input so here 3 that means number of test cases and then 3 line is present and in each line 2 space separated integer are present first is n second is k so here is the explanation present so for the first input 5 and 2 you see the n equal to 5 and k equal to 2 and the set s contain 1 to 5 that means 1 to n so now you simply write all the possible values of a and b but the condition is a and b is less than this k so you see that all the value here is 0 and 1 and this is the 2 and this is 4 so the k is 2 that means the value of the a and b is maximum 1 so that's why the maximum possible value of a and b is 1 so this is 
print on the output screen and for the h and every input you do the same thing so i think you understand so to solve this problem i simply use the c and c++ language so first i select c++ then i definitely solve this problem using c language so here all the boilerplate code are present but it is large amount of code so that's why i simply select all and delete and then i start writing my code so this is a standard header file and then using namespace std and then int main and inside of this main i simply declare a t for number of test cases and then take the user input for t variable and then make a while loop and inside of this while loop i write t greater than 0 and inside of this while loop i simply decrease the t by 1 every time so now i declare two variable one is n another is k and take the user input for n and k and then i declare a integer type vector and name it v then i have to create this set which contain 1 to n so that's why i declare this vector type array so now i simply make a for loop inside of this for loop int i equal to 0 i less than sorry this i is starting from 1 because this set contained the element 1 to n so that's why i write i equal to 1 i less than equal to n and then i plus plus inside of this for loop you write v dot put back and you simply put the value of i inside of this v vector array so now i create the set and then you have to make this all possible condition so the way to make this all possible condition is to make two for loop one is int i equal to 0 i less than n and i plus plus inside of this for loop i make another for loop and this time int j equal to i plus 1 j less than n and j plus plus so now in the second for loop i simply write a if condition and inside of this if condition you simply put this two condition one is the value of this a and b is less than the given integer k and another is that we simply go through h and every possible pair of a and b and then select the maximum value so that's why i declare a maximum variable and give the value 0 and inside of this if statement i simply write v i and v j less than k sorry the curly braces is is in this and then and operation and then i simply start the curly braces and v i and vj this time i write greater than maximum okay so this is the two condition and if this two condition is satisfied then inside of this if condition i write maximum equal to vi and vj at the end of this two for loop i simply get the value of the maximum which is less than k so after this your task is to print the value of this maximum so that's why i write c out maximum and then end l okay so my c plus plus code is done so i simply check by run code button so here is the compilation error so which is the compilation error c in this is c in sorry i forget the semicolon here so i simply click the run code so again check my code and this time processing and yes this time sample test is 0 and 1 is passed so i click submit code to check some additional test cases and yes all the test cases are passed so now the time is to 
simply write the solution for this problem in C language so that's why I simply copy this main function and then I select the C language because for C and C++ the code is pretty much same so now I simply paste this main function here but I do not remove this header file so now I simply edit some code for C language so you know that for C language C in is not present so you have to write scanf so I write scanf and then for the integer variable pass and d and store it in t variable so now go to the second C in and this time you simply take value of two variable one is pass and d another is also pass and d so now one is stored inside of n and another is stored inside of k so okay so now we have to change this vector type array so that's why i simply write int v1000 because here the size of the n is 10 to the power 3 so that's why i put 1000 and then this time i simply change pushback to vi minus 1 equal to i so now i simply change this c out so i write print f and then first and d and max c mum okay so you simply print the value of maximum but you simply don't forget to put a slash n because every output is print on the new line so that's why so now i simply click run code to check my code is correct or not so here is the compilation error oh i simply forget a braces in the end so i simply click run code button and it's processing and yes sample test case 0 and 1 is passed so i click submit code and all the test cases are passed so so i think the c and c plus plus solution is helpful for you and if you think so then please like the video please support me by subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so when i upload this type of problem solution video you get the notification so this is the hackathon 30 days of code series see you in the next series thank you friend goodbye